to everyone in YouTube land. This is Kathy with Living Miracle Homestead. Um, this is my Sunday update. All is well. Looking at uh, where I've been having the chickens in the day and letting them scratch and play and get all the grubs and food that they want is looking good. The compost bin <coughs> emptied here was a, a success and um, only a few things left here to get rid of and I think I'll just bury those and let them compost out. I'm going to move their site to probably over there where all that stuff is and uh, start doing the same thing over there. So right now they are in their house. I just put them up for the night and uh, a lot has gotten done this weekend starting with. So a lot's gotten done starting with the garden this week. I uh, plant, pulled up the stuff that was here, the kale and such, and planted um, okra. It is yet to see daylight, but it'll come. I am going to be harvesting potatoes soon. They're starting to die off, so I think it's time to get them out of the ground. Um, Some of the plants still look really healthy, so maybe I'll just dig out the ones that are yellow and dying off. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that all needs to be cared for for next week. Um, the uh, watermelon back there is getting larger and prettier. That one's just not growing half as fast, but it's looking nice. So, I got a lot of work to do this coming week. Hopefully, I can feel better today. It was not a good day for me, so I didn't get anything done today. Okay, so this bed is becoming a little overgrown. I need to weed that out a little this coming week also. When I pulled out that radish, I actually put it up here to, uh, to dry out. And, um, yeah, I gotta clean that out. This bed is looking really super good. Um, the cucumbers are starting to grow pretty well. And starting to get close enough. Yep, that can go on the trellis. <laughs> so, let's see about this one. Yep. It'll get there soon. The beans. Looks like they've got some little blooms. I don't know if you see that. Little blooms on them. Rashes are looking well. Whew. For some reason, I'm not seeing any tomatoes that I grew in here. Uh, I'm not sure what that is right back there. But, it is what it is. Go around and show you the front side. Hang on. So the chicks are getting bigger. And Nora, which I think is Norman, not really sure yet. Might be Nora. Anyways, she or he is protecting them. They stay close to her. But I'm concerned because I got the quail in here too. And they're all huddled up in one side. 
It's not cold out here by any means, so it must be out of fear. So, I don't know. I didn't find any more dead in here since I put them back in here. And uh, Charlotte hasn't gotten out anymore, so that's a good thing. But they're doing well down here. Yesterday's video showed what we were doing out here, and everything is looking really, really good out here. Um, these are almost to the bed, all of them. And um, I want to plant something down through here. And it was going to be these guys, but I think they need a little bit more time out of the ground. And unfortunately, I don't understand, I don't know if it's the moles or what, but looks like another one of my blackberries has bit the dust. That one down there is still holding on, so I still have three. Um, we'll see. The uh, raspberries aren't wilted, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and put some water on them and the blackberries tonight. And this stuff that I planted yesterday, this um, elderberry is looking super good. Look at that plant. Sorry, the wind is moving, so. But it hasn't totally opened up yet. It's gorgeous, though. <laughs> I can't wait to see it fully open. As soon as I get this out, this little guy, this little Barbados cherry is going to go there. I can't wait to get it planted. This is the one we air layered. And, um... I think it will do much better in the ground. We'll see. Don't forget now, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. This is Kathy with Living Miracle Homestead. See you next time. Bye now.